A long, long time ago, a young kangaroo named Wambian went down to the creek for a drink of water. The sun had only just come up and Kookaburra had only just started to laugh. He did this every morning to let everyone know it was time to get up and enjoy the day. As Wambian was drinking, out of the corner of her eye, she saw the glint of something small and dark disappear into the water. Being a very curious kangaroo, Wambian hopped over to the ripples to explore. As she peered into the water, she could see a small dark blur on the bottom of the creek. She was even more curious now, so she poked her head into the water to see better. When she did, she saw something she had never seen before. It was an animal with fur like hers, a beak like Garangai, the black duck, and a flat tail that looked out of place. What a strange looking animal, she thought. As she watched, she saw two beady eyes look up at her with fright. Wambian waved her paw in a friendly wave, sat back down on the creek bank and smiled. After a very long time, a small furry head popped out of the water. Hello, said Wambian. Don't be afraid. Why don't you come up and sit with me? I like to meet new friends. The creature moved through the water as quickly as Makar the fish, and in the blink of an eye, was sitting next to Wambian. I would like to have a friend, the creature said. My name is Yuppie. Yuppie and Wambian just sat there all morning, having the biggest of yarns. By now, that old woman's sun was high in the sky. Wambian looked up at the sun. Oh my, she said, I had better go. My father will be worried about me. I have never been away this long on my own. As she spoke, there was a loud crash and bang coming through the bushes. Yappy immediately jumped back into the water. Wapar, the young kangaroo's father, appeared on the creek bank and looked very relieved. Thank goodness, I have found you, my daughter. You have never been away this long. Is everything okay? Wambian told her father how she had made a new friend and pointed to the dark blur in the water. Her father looked at her and smiled. That is a platypus, he said. You are very lucky to have a platypus as a friend. They are very shy, nervous creatures. Hardly any of the animals have ever met one. Wapar waved to Yuppie and smiled. Yuppie's small furry head popped out of the water again. Hello there, Wapar said. I am Wambian's father. I am so pleased to meet you. I can't wait to tell the rest of the animals that Wambian has a platypus as a friend. Really? You really think the rest of the animals would be interested? Of course, the father said. I know they would love to meet you. The three sat there and watched some dragonflies playing. Hey, I have an idea, Wambian said to her father. Why don't we invite Yuppie to come and meet everybody? That's a great idea, he said. We can even have a corroboree in Yuppie's honor. Yuppie jumped back into the water. Eventually, he poked his head out. I am sorry, I can't possibly leave the creek. He was shivering in fear. Don't be afraid, Father Kangaroo said. You are going to meet family. We are all one mob, you know. They will all be very excited. I have never left this place, the platypus said in a nervous voice. I am so frightened. I would love to meet all of the animals I have seen come down to this creek, but I can't even think about it without feeling sick in my tummy. Yes, of course, said Father Kangaroo. I can see you were frightened, but think about it. If you let fear stop you doing something you would really like to do, 
you are get, letting it control your life. You are giving your power away to fear and missing out on something special. Yuppie crawled back onto the bank and laid on his back in the sunlight. Mm hmm, you're all right, but I just don't think I can do it. I understand, Wapo said. We all get frightened sometimes. You are so big and strong and you move so fast. I can't see how you would be frightened of anything, Yabi said. Fear can show itself in many ways, Wapo said. Over my life, I have been frightened lots of times. When I was young, I was frightened of the dark. When I became an adult, I was frightened of letting people down. When I became a father, I was frightened of not being a very good dad. And even now, sometimes I'm frightened of letting people down. Wow, both Yuppie and Wambian said at the same time. Being frightened is natural. Sometimes being frightened can save our lives, but most of the time being frightened is our mind playing tricks on us. The secret is to not give in to fear when you know the fear isn't real. When we face fear, we are showing courage. Everything was quiet for a little while and then Yuppie sat up. He looked different. Thank you for your advice, Grandfather. If it is all right with you, I would very much like to come and meet all of my family. I don't know how brave I can be, but I will try my hardest. Three days later, the animals held a very big corroboree for a very special guest. The guest was the strangest looking animal. It had fur like a kangaroo, a head like a black duck, and a flat tail that looked out of place. Although he was a bit shy to start with, his newfound family made him feel at home. He learned songs, he learned dance, and he heard many stories. He had the best night of his life. The end. <laughs>